here I am, you know, informing you guys about dinosaurs and telling you about how it was kind of funny. Mm -hmm. Because the bugs around here kind of like it. Wait, wait. It's kind of like putting salt on the meat. <laughs> hey, what part got you confused? <laughs> Is it the brother part? <laughs> Ouch.
Um, I come out here because I'm trying to reconstruct the ecosystem. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, to actually put together, piece together what this area was like 68 million years ago, um, three million years before dinosaurs went extinct. And we have found five Tyrannosaurus rex skeletons, um, 50 Triceratops specimens, We've got five or six duckbill specimens. We've got a whole bunch of other things, lots of crocodiles and turtles and fantastic leaf deposits. We, we've just got a lot more than we expected to find out here. And it's, it is turning out to be one of, the, one of the most productive dinosaur digs in history. Today we were doing something very exciting. We were actually taking out the largest Tyrannosaurus rex skeleton ever found and the largest duckbill dinosaur ever found. Um, the Tyrannosaurus rex, we're estimating um, 45 feet long, and the duckbill dinosaur, we're also estimating to be 45 feet long. The T-Rex is, is pretty special, not only because it's so big, but because we found you know, the complete torso. We've got the complete, the rib cage, the, the what we call gastralia, belly ribs, so we'll actually, for the first time, we'll be able to actually know the shape of a Tyrannosaurus rex. The, the plaster jackets were brought back here to camp. They'll be loaded on trucks, and they will be hauled back tomorrow, back to our museum. And then the preparators there, the people that clean these things, will just start working on them. And, and we're hoping to have, you know, the... We're hoping to have lots of the G-Rex and the C-Rex specimens prepared before we actually finish the summer.